<laughs> Fuck's sake, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is just the Hulk. Yeah, and then, oh god, or like, someone's like, oh man, there's this great fantasy story. I, you know, didn't, probably never saw it. Hand you a copy of fucking, like, Tales of Beowulf. Yeah, like, or fuck, fuck no. You, asshole. No, or something that'd probably be more. Fucking Lord of the Rings. Everyone's seen that fucking movie. Yeah. You know what? There's probably less people who know what Beowulf is than who know what Lord of the Rings is, which is really sad. Like, unless you're in the UK where Beowulf is, like, the first, one of the first stories you ever learned. I don't know, dude. They, like... I had to read Beowulf in my middle school and in my high school. Yeah, well, in in the UK, like, literally the earliest book I remember is Beowulf. I don't know. Isn't that about, like, a split personality or something? So, oh, so he gives us a different book depending on... I wonder what the other yeah. books are. I... You'll find out when you read it. Also, she's never read it. Yeah. What the fuck? We spent this whole time talking shit. <laughs> Good point. Good point! Uh, I don't have a library card! Having fun's not hard when you have a library card. Oh, fuck you! You're staying with Susie right now, aren't you? It's not like I don't know you're the one who has it. I'll know where to find you. He'll just loom over us while we're sleeping. I guess so. I'll lock my door. Well, thank you! Not a problem. Hope you like it. I hope you like this book that you should have read in fucking elementary school. I tuck the book underneath my coat and trudge back to the flower shop. Not really much of a reader, but Trent seemed excited enough. I guess I'll give it a shot. So, another day ends. I honestly right. think that this is giving us culture. Okay, I, yeah, I think, I think library gives us culture. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Oh wow, cleaning out the weeds doesn't... You gotta clean out weeds until yeah. everyone's... Oh, that's fucking shit. Yeah, until a plot opens up. Okay. Alright, now we can spin... We can plant one more, and then... Okay, so this is... Oh, this, okay, this goes up in four days. Water level is okay. But we can no use parasite. compost. We can use compost to make it go, go more. I feel like we can we can just go slow with it right now. Okay, I'm gonna plant another. I'm gonna plant a lily. I got a lot done today. Okay. So if that's the case, I think we might just want to go straight general store every day. Yeah, seriously. And like until we start getting low on money, and then do like maybe a couple days of working extra. Yeah. I hope the rest days it's like just Moe Chan pops in through the door. I, th I think um, Moe Chan is flower shop. Yeah, I know, but still. And then if when our health is going down, we have relax. Mm -hmm. Wait, hang on. Shit. Fuck. Fucked up. Okay. Good afternoon, Natalie. How are you? Cold! <laughs> okay. Alright. What do we do? Alright, so do we... If we don't want to, want... I think if we don't want to buy something, he'll talk to us. But if we buy something, I think we lose out on talking to him. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to buy anything right now. Yeah, guys. so. No, I'm good for today. And so, <gasps> what? <laughs> what is this he shit? He told us to come by to study. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, yeah. go Google this shit. Oh, wow, if we don't plant anything, weeds come back. Uh, oh well, shit, we, we should got, plant. We, we gotta plant every. Whoa, what? Oh, I accidentally double clicked and planted a rose. Fuck it. That's fine. We gotta plant all this shit anyway. It's fine. Otherwise, everything yeah. gets all weeded. Now, water that shit. Uh, everything. Okay, so they start at full water. Yeah, but I mean, why not just water it anyway? That's true. Okay, water that shit. I think we water all of them. Yeah, so do I. It just has plants on it, yeah. so. Alright, so. Hey, how's Susie doing? Not bad. She's hard at work as usual. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. I may be on Google right now trying to figure out how to touch some dairy bugs. Oh, please do. I, I will take over while you Google it. It's fine. Alright. I hope you don't mind if I stay and read for a while. 
I find a quiet corner and spend the rest of the afternoon reading. And so, another day ends. Friday oh, morning. Okay. This is a lot less interaction than I hoped for. I know. I was hoping... F I didn't expect much, but I expected a little bit more. Alright. Sake visual. Okay, and I think... Yeah, we just gotta... Take out the weeds. Oh, shit. What? Every boy has two stats you need to raise in order to get his romance in. Oh, shit. Oh, his primary shit. stat needs to be at least 80. And his secondary stat needs to be 60. Okay. Ryan. So how do we talk with Ryan now? I... Ryan's primary stat is culture. What? Which is raised by spending time with Trent. Fuck! God we damn it! We were into fantasy. Wait, we needed... To... Oh, we broke it. Fuck, we're done. We're done. Oof. Well, After... we're about the we're about the end of an episode, so if we what we could do is we could just roll it back and just fix it. Oh um, no! Uh, okay, it looks like there's some other spots we can go through. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, so we need to spend time with Trent to get our culture up. But if we but we picked horror, so we so if we needed to pick fantasy. Yeah, but it's it it just says in this walkthrough here that you're supposed to pick fantasy, but I don't see why. Mate, well, when we did go to the library before, all we did was we sat in the corner reading. We didn't read really talk to Trent. Oh, okay. Shit. Apparently, like stuff doesn't start opening up until like later, though, because he's gonna ask you if you want to do a math review. Okay. So, we just have to wait until he asks us, I guess. But right, if we don't we... go to the store, then... I'm gonna buy more more lilies so we can deal with, like, fewer weeds. Okay. This this RTS game. What the hell is this video game? Alright, so plant all that shit. Okay, now we gotta deal with less. These grow up in one day, and then we can sell them... Ooh. For ten dollars, which is six dollars more than we bought them for, so. Alright. That's, that's fine. That's water money. water the shit. Water. Water. Shut up. <laughs> and then I guess we just I got a lot done today. You know what, that is the only decent still in this game. It is. I take a quick nap, I still feel exhausted, because I'll just spend the rest of the day resting. Wow. Alright, what am I gonna do with this week? Oh, we get our stats page again. Okay. My health is so low. Our culture went up and our intelligence went up. What is Ryan's two stats? I only was able to see to culture. <laughs> they didn't tell me the other one on the site. Oh, shit. Well... Let me try to find if there's another good one. Our intelligence went up as well, so... Okay, you wanna just cut here for a second while I look through a bunch of shit? Yep, I'll mark it. But this is a... So... Yeah. This is a fucking dating sim where we're min-maxing the shit out of it. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, we, we totally weren't behind the scenes crunching numbers, guys. That didn't happen at all. Okay, so to get su to get Sunderbot to love us, we need high culture. We get culture by hanging out with the doucher in the green sweatshirt. But we also need and intelligence, then, but which we get from the general store, so... Yeah, and we can get the intel intelligence to the secondary stats, so we can get that later. Yeah, which we'll probably need less of it as well, so... Yeah. And we, we just need to make sure we don't die. Yeah, so we're gonna do a straight shot of the library, and then relax on the last day, and we'll see... Where do we sell our flowers at? Um, we sell them from this... From this I'll show you, because I think one of our flowers is actually ready to go. Okay. And so, another week begins! In the end, it doesn't Oh, Jesus! It, oh, they got AIDS! How do I, fi how do I fix this? I, I, I don't know, can we still sell them? No, they're only worth $2 right now. We can sell this one. Oh, yeah, sell it. Yeah. This one has AIDS. Oh, I can just clean <laughs> it up. Okay. Oh, no, they all have it! Huh? Okay, just those two have just it. Those, just, just those two. This one grows up in one day. Five days. Two. Uh... God, these things are only worth, like, six bucks. We should just buy roses or carnations or something. 
Yeah, well, I mean, but they're, they're worth six bucks, but they only cost, like, three. That's true. There? So, but the roses, but the game. roses have a bigger, have a bigger return. Like, just barely, but... God, why the fuck am I... No, I how much do the roses not... cost? They're, like, ten dollars each, aren't they? No, roses are four. Oh, they're four? Okay, so... They and they sell for ten. Okay, okay. How's Susie doing? This is just repeating. Yep, that sounds right. Okay, so... Just sell that shit. Oh god, did we pick the secretly most boring game possible? I, I don't know, did we? I got a lot done today! But we at least we can skip through- Oh! Oh! Go to the Oh, Natalie, are you going to the library again? Yeah, why? Then it holds up as I just finished baking some cupcakes. I was wondering if you could bring them to Mary and the Librarian and Trim. Yeah, sure, no problem. He's at the library today. He's at the library every, every day. Every single goddamn day. Does he have a job? I don't think he does. Why does he always hang out there? He only seems like he has a single fucking brain cell. Six miles knowingly. Well, let's just say... He's attracted to cultured women. Are you sure Ryan was the culture one? Yeah, it's everything I looked up said Ryan wants the culture. Oh. Although I think empathy means... Oh! Oh, this fucking bitch with her tutorials. What? Oh. Although I think empathy means more to him. Nice girls, I suppose. Oh, she is the tutorial bitch. Oh my god. Okay. So, so he's culture and empathy. Okay, so you get your you get your main stat somewhere else, but you get your secondary stat with the datable. Okay. Okay. That's weird, but I I get it. I take the basket in both hands, holding close to my boobs as I walk to the library. Afternoon, Natalie. What brings you to this neck of the woods? Oh, I don't know, bringing a basket of goodies to my grandmother? Shut up, bitch. I hold up the basket of cupcakes that Suzanne had given me. Ben's face lights up and he eyes the basket hungrily. I thought that said angrily at first. I was like, what? <laughs> Who brought me cupcakes? They will die for this. Blood for the cupcake god. That's what he said. I hold the cupcakes away from him teasingly. Are you really my grandmother? Sure I am. What Whoa, the what the fuck is with this face? <laughs> there is something in them cupcakes. He he wants them real bad. Oh. Fucking Just... seeing fairies and shit. <sighs> Alright, I got this. I got oh, this. God. So give me the basket of goodies, because I'm really hungry and stuff. What the fuck? Hey man, falsetto. I stare at Trent, frozen in shock for a split second before I burst out into hysterical laughter. <laughs> what was that? Hey, bitch, I tried. <laughs> Is it wrong that I'm actually, like, unironically actually enjoying this game? <laughs> See, I feel like that's gonna change really soon when I've... we have to wait for, like, two weeks for every single event to happen. I think so. But we only have, ten, like, ten weeks left, including this one, so, I mean... Oh. oh, shit. Okay, go. I, I can barely stand up straight. I'm laughing so hard. Ben walks up to me coolly and lifts the basket from my hands without effort. Hey, no fair, man! My hand's now free. It wasn't that funny. Trent watches me, looking pleased with himself. That was easier than I thought. He reaches in, pulls out a cupcake, and takes a large, self-satisfied bite from it. Mmm. Thanks, Nashley. Was he at his mouth full, or did he turn Russian for a second? Not Russian. Um, the Shogun from Shogun 2. Ow. Oh. Shame for display! Don't That's speak with racist. your mouth full. Don't be lazy. He's, he's a racist. No. By now, is it possible for me to control my laughter? Anything he does just punctuates my amusement even... This bitch... By the way, when, when we get when we do that, that's racist thing. I need you to cut in 
the gif of that uh, of that kid saying that's racist with like okay. the fucking chicken leg and shit. Okay. <laughs> Trent not seriously. He finishes chewing his bite before he speaks again. Grabs another cupcake and holds it out to me. Want one? Sure. Too bad, bitch. I finally managed to calm my laughter enough to accept the cupcake from his outstretched hand. I take a deep breath. My body shudders for a moment. I feel another giggle, but I force it down. I get a bite of the cupcake. Unsurprisingly, it's incredibly delicious. I'm made without anything processed ever. What? What was that? Like, what fucking food was it that they branded with saying it's incredibly delicious? Um, Lucky charms. Lucky charms. They're magically delicious. Something that was delicious. also a little racist. I'm actually Irish, so fuck you. I'm a Lucky Charms guy, but okay. Um, okay. Something delicious from Susanna, go figure. Okay, what the fuck? Wasn't her entire shtick complaining about the whole fact that Susanna's gonna eat dick? No, I think it was just that she doesn't like a like she doesn't she likes processed meat. She doesn't like people food. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Whipped honey frosting. That sounds gross. I don't know. That actually sounds like it'd be okay. I want more, but we should probably save some for Marion. Oh, right. Marion. The bitch, he... Like, going after this guy means, like, like... Because imagine, like, if we went after him, like, there'd be, like, a whole, like, love triangle with fucking Marion and shit. Oh, I hope it ends with us killing Marion and then going to prison for it. Yeah. And she's not actually dead, so we break out and kill her again, and we can't get charged for it because double jeopardy. But I didn't kill her the movie. I didn't kill her the first time. That was a terrible movie. <laughs> the game goes from a visual novel into like a fucking um like Metal Gear Solid, you're sneaking around fucking searchlights and shit. Oh, but it still looks like the art quality is exactly the same. Yep. I feel, well, some of these 3D models do look like they could be run on the f first generation of PlayStation. I, are, are any of these 3D models? There are a couple. You can pick them out if you're really looking for them, but a lot of them are painted over. It's a very cheap and lazy way to do visual novel backgrounds. It's how I did it in my visual novel. Yeah, dude, I got spoiled by playing Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. That's one of the most well-produced visual novels I've ever seen. I will have to play it sometime. It literally, like, you know how they have this static bullshit and then just whoever's talking appears on screen? Uh-huh. In that game, you're, like, in the middle of pretty much just a group of people when you're talking, right? Uh-huh. And then it does, like, a camera transition and pans over. Wait, so it's, like, actually... It's not just static images, it's actually a world? It's actually a world, and the characters move as they talk and shit. Okay. If it was actually, like... Is it, like, if it was actually, like, fully, like... 3D models and shit, like... It is. Like, all the characters are 3D. It may as well just be Persona at that point. See, like, it's... But you don't ever actually... Like, it's it's a uh, tactical RPG visual novel game. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, the backgrounds are all 2D. But the characters are 3D. Okay, and then, I need to play this now. It's really fucking good. What's anyway, it called? He, um, Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters, okay. He's such a beautiful, she's a beautiful woman, it's obvious the trend is only here because of her booty. Okay, we ask about her. Do we ask about her or change the subject? I think asking about her might make you mad. Do it. Hey, so you want to touch Marion's dick, right? It's about Marion. Where is she right now? <laughs> Where? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> Probably running a workshop. She does a lot of those things with a local college. What? Where did you get Carmen San Diego from? And she, she said, "Where is she?" Oh, I don't know. You just brought me right back to her because I was playing Punch Out, and Don Flamenco is fucking looking for Carmen San Diego. Ah, yes. Punch Out, so. Oh, that's nice. She sounds like a bitch. Great, she's a librarian and a teacher. There's no way Trent's not into her. I... Oh my god! 
Yeah, what? I just... Oh. Sexy librarian and sexy teacher. Wow, do we know where she was going on Susanna's laptop? Sexy teacher. Brary. 